Hello, I'm Carl, and this is going to be the first in a series of videos that I'm going to be doing on Joomla. This one specifically is how to install Joomla on cPanel. Um, now, if you're familiar with cPanel, or if you're not familiar with cPanel, this is, this is the panel that a lot of the major hosting services use. Uh, it's not used by GoDaddy or Network Solutions. There's a few of them in there that don't use this, but uh, this is for the, for the cheaper uh, hosting services. This is definitely one of the favorites. Um, and I know uh, HostGator uses it, uh, Web Hosting Pad uses it, Fat Cow, uh, Host Papa. I think Bluehost and JustHost uh, use something similar, uh, though I don't think it's, it's the exact same design here. But anyway, this is cPanel. Uh, this is how you control all the stuff on your hosting service. And uh, so if you have this, uh, which is very likely if you don't have GoDaddy or uh, Network Solutions, then this is where we're going to start. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is drag all the way down to the bottom here. And we want to go to Softaculous. So we double click on that. And this is under Software Services, of course. And wait for Softaculous to open. Now, while we're waiting for that, uh, I'm not quite sure why it's taken so long. But um, this is actually the, the simple and sloppy way of, uh, of installing Joomla. Uh, the ideal way is actually to install it on a local server on your local computer. Uh, that way you can make any changes that you want to it uh, before uh, uploading it to your hosting service. Um, that is the ideal way to do it if you're a, uh, uh, a web, web hosting uh, uh, geek like I am. Um, but uh, this, this will work to get you started and show you some of the basics. Uh, it's a little bit slow to make changes uh, on a live site uh, compared to when you have it right on your desktop here. So um, anyway, this is Softaculous. Um, this is, uh, you can see there's a lot of different options here. We can install WordPress, Joomla 2.5, 1.2, or 1.5. Um, and 3 is actually the latest version of Joomla. It's been, a, been out for about a year. Uh, unfortunately, uh, installation of Joomla 3 is not an option in here. I've been installing and using Joomla 3 um, from the Joomla website uh, for uh, quite a while now. Um, but this will give you some of the basics. Um, so we hover over this and click on Install. And what you're going to see is a screen come up, which gives you some of the basics. Now, there, is, there are two sides or two different things that you need to think about uh, when installing Joomla. One is the database, and then the other is the files that uh, support the website. Uh, so the database is one thing, then there's the, the files. Uh, so what we're going to be doing right now in this top sec section is setting up the file structure. Um, so uh, we start with uh, this here, choose a domain. Now I'm just going to stick with, uh, with handycarl.com for now. And in directory, we're going to put it in a subdirectory of handycarl. So actually when, uh, when we go to check out the site, it's going to be in handycarl.com slash Joomla16. And this is the default. Uh, it, it'll probably come up with a different default for you. Um, you can use that default or you can name that folder whatever you want. You don't need to create the folder ahead of time. Um, just put the new folder name in here and it will, it will create it for you. Database name, you can pick whatever name that you want uh, that's different than any other databases that you have on your hosting service. Uh, I'm just going to stick with the default here again. Um, Let's see, site name, my Joomla, that's fine. Site description, my Joomla CS, CMS, that's fine. I'm going to uh, just uh, keep the defaults here. Now, uh, table prefix. This, uh, you don't need to do anything with. This is actually just a random prefix that is put on the beginning of each of the tables in the database so that the uh, the, the tables are distinguished from other tables in the database. So don't worry about that. Just leave it blank or leave it the way it is. Um, 
and then we're going to say, uh, uh, let's see, admin account. We'll keep it as admin and password as pass. Now, I highly recommend when you're building a website that's live, create a different uh, admin name than admin, and also create a different password. Uh, you, you're obviously going to want to to make this somewhat secure. One of the weak points in Joomla is that everyone knows that you go to uh, a Joomla hosted site or a, a Joomla um, a, a, a site that's on a Joomla platform, and um, if you go to the administrator, uh, the, the site name slash administrator, that will get you to the back end. And most people, a lot of people, continue using the admin username. So if they just plug in admin as the username, uh, and then they can uh, just try a whole bunch of different passwords. Now, the, uh, you know, there's, there's lots of software packages out there for cracking into different things. And uh, you want a bomb-proof password in here, definitely. There are other options, other things that you can do to make Joomla a little more secure. Uh, but this is the basics right here. Put a different, ad, a different name in here for admin. Uh, you know, put your own name, put whatever, uh, and then put a password in that's at least 10 characters with uh, with squigglies and and dollar signs and numbers and and uh, upper and lower case. Uh, and if you have trouble rem remembering passwords like I do, uh, you can use something called KeyPass. Uh, this is a program that I've got another video out for, um, which helps you. It's another database keeps track of uh, all the all the uh, the passwords that you have for all your different things. I have well over 300 passwords that I have to keep track of, and uh, KeePass makes it nice and easy for me. Um, so uh, we're going to keep uh, admin and pass as password uh, just for this demonstration. Um, Real name, administrator, that's fine. Uh, admin email. You know what? I'm going to put something different in here. I'll put uh, info at bearkey design. And so now uh, what's going to happen when you click install here, you're going to get all this information that we've entered in here is going to be sent to you in an email so you don't lose track of it. Uh, we click install here, and with any luck, this should uh, only take a few seconds to uh, to do. It says three to four minutes here, but it's it's usually just 20 seconds or so, something like that. Once it gets to about 30%, it should just truck right onto the end here. So um, you'll see once we get to the website that there's a front end and a back end to Joomla. The front end, of course, is what all the, uh, all the people see that come to visit your site. The back end is what has all the, uh, all the different options and functions and, uh, and controls to uh, make the website do what you want it to do. Okay, so there we are. Um, that is completed. Uh, so now if we go to this here, we'll right click and open a new tab, and it should come right up here. Okay, and oh, this is the administrator, administrator back end. Before we do that, let's go to the front end. Okay, so this is the front end. No data in it, uh, but it gives you some of the basics. You can see this is... Uh, uh, well, this is what you come up with when you uh, first install a Joomla site. So uh, we will now go to the Joomla backend, and you know what? We'll just we'll just type it in here, administrator. And okay, so now we go admin and pass, and this will get us into the back end, and we can take a look at some of the basic stuff here. Um, so this is the back end of Joomla 2.5. Now Joomla 3.0 looks a little bit different, uh, but it's got all the same functionality in it uh, as, uh, as the core package. So uh, from here we can look at users. We can add different users that we want. Uh, we can add different, we can create user uh, types. Uh, so in, for example, in 
WordPress. WordPress only has, I think, four different user types. Um, in Joomla, you can create any number of user types that you want and give them different types of access for all the different functions. Uh, really flexible that way. Menus, uh, you can create as many menus as you want. Uh, you can structure them however you want. Content, uh, there's articles and there's categories. Now the categories, uh, again, it's like pretty much any CMS. You need to create a category before you can uh, to, to put the articles into. Um, and then you put the, the categories or the article itself in the menu structure. Um, then components, there's lots of different functions here. Now template manager, let me just show you some of the core templates that we have here in, uh, in Joomla. And this is what comes as core. Now you'll notice the two stars over here on the right. Uh, this tells you what is working right now as the default. Uh, don't pay any attention to the default things here. Uh, these are the ones that, that we're working with. So if we wanted to change any of these templates, there's a template for the administrator side, which is what we're looking at right here, the back end. Um, and there's also templates for the front end. And this is you know, for your site, which is what you're going to be changing. Uh, you, know, you can find templates online and plug them in here. That'll be a different video. Um, you can also uh, create your own templates, and I'll be having videos on how to create your own templates in Joomla. So uh, that's pretty much it, uh, the very bare-bone basics of um, how to install a Joomla site in cPanel. Now, uh, once again, cPanel is something that a lot of the hosting services use. Uh, GoDaddy and Network Solutions and some of the others, they almost all of them have something similar to this that will allow you to uh, install a Joomla or WordPress or Drupal package uh, in the same type of fashion. Um, so now you just check that email that was sent to you. Make sure that uh, you've got uh, all those passwords and everything uh, recorded and you're good to go. So uh, for now, thanks for watching and if you enjoy this and if you enjoy this series, I would appreciate it if you would uh, like us on Facebook and uh, also subscribe to this channel. Thank you much.